Chapter 1. Introduction. Almost everyone has fond memories of being with animals when they were young. It is what makes people try to reproduce the situation either for themselves or their children. But what most people forget is that their parents trained those animals. They did not just come like that. There is no such thing as a perfect pet, perfect dog, perfect human or perfect anything. There is as good as you are going to get, as best as you can make it and what best suits you. A lot of people believe that all dogs of the same breed are the same too, but this is not really the full story. The fact is that all dogs are different within a breed and even within a litter, although they may share certain broad characteristics within a breed and even within a litter. This is because certain characteristics are bred into these breeds by us humans, and dogs from the same litter will have had the same parents and the same handlers, but each individual dog may deal with any given situation in its own inimitable way. In other words, each dog has its own personality. If you are not too familiar with dogs, ask someone who is, and they will back me up a pound to a penny. This means that not all pit bull terriers and rottweilers are vicious, and not all Labradors are lovely, but that all dogs have the potential to be any type of dog if it is trained to be that way and treated in the correct manner. If a dog associates strangers with a threat, he will react like that, if he associates visitors with kindness, he will welcome them. The same goes for children, cats, other species of animal and other dogs. It is mostly in their nurture, with a little bit in their nature too. After all, they all still have a little of the wolf in them. It is true that dogs of a certain breed may share some behavioural characteristics. For example, most Labradors enjoy swimming and love to fetch a ball or a stick because retrieving fallen game is what they were designed to do. There are exceptions to every rule, but knowing a breed's designed behavioural as well as physical characteristics will help you to decide on a dog that will likely be a good fit for you and your lifestyle. The more research you do before you go to choose your dog, the more likely you are to get the best dog for you and or your family or environment. You are taking the right first step now by reading this book. Good luck.